those days the devil can feed you stuff and make you kind of crazy. Hey. But when I'm in church praising the Lord, I'm I'm real saint. Amen. Praise God. Praise God. I'm glad to be in the Lord's house one more time. The Lord has blessed me to have another day. What about you? Are you glad about it? Are you glad about it? That you know, out of all the brokenness that each life may have, you give God half a chance. And God can fix broken things. He can, He's so good, He can fix the messiest situation and fix it and bake a cake out of the mess and put icing on it. And then serve it back to you, and it, t- and it tastes sweet to you, and you know how messy it was. Oh, I wish I had somebody. I wish I had somebody. Yes, I thank the Lord. Amen. I thank God for being able to look out and see the mother of the church. Amen. Somebody said to me, said, I would like to see the mother of the church on the on the computer. I'm not too good with that technological stuff, but I want to make sure that you get a picture of the mother of the church. Because they were missing her because they're out of state, you know. Yeah. Amen. Come on, let's give her one more minute. Hey, 
Amen. Amen. So we, we are just like that in a sense. But God says he wants us as sinners. Yeah. Uh-huh. We are still loved as sinners. Yes. God didn't withhold his love for you That's right. because you were a sinner. That's right. He gave his whole life because we were sinners. Am I right? Yeah. He's saying in church, start making people nervous yeah. when you start talking about sin. Yeah. When you think the preacher's going to call your name. I ain't interested in your name. Yeah. Because there is no life untouched by sin. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Amen. And I'll dance with you. I'll, I'll shout with you. Yeah. I'll glorify God. Yeah. Because we have overcome because of the blood of Jesus. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Would you be shouting if you... I know right now, somebody showed up at church and somebody said, oh, you know what I found out? What did I find out? Oh, you just yelling and screaming. What you find out? Somebody made a deposit in my bank account. Child, they put over $100,000 in my bank account. Hold my view while I shout. <laughs> Praise the Lord. But see, God did that for us. He did it for us. And we were guilty. Yes, sir. Amen. Amen. I'm going to preach. I can tell right now I ain't getting nowhere. Let us open our Bibles to Psalm 5. Psalm 5. You get with me and it won't be long. Psalm 5. And I want to say that uh, in the fifth... <clears throat> Vision of Psalm. These Psalms are songs, S O N G S, songs written, this one by David, the king. Sometimes when you read the Psalms, you hear David talking in his writings to God, and he's talking about himself, and he's also including other people, his perspective of other people. He's saying, give ear to my words, O Lord. Consider my meditation. Hearken unto the voice of my cry, my King and my God. For unto thee will I pray. My voice shall thou hear in the morning, O Lord. In the morning will I direct my prayer unto thee, and will look up. For thou art not a God that has pleasure in wickedness, neither shall evil dwell with thee. The foolish shall not stand in thy sight. Thou hatest all workers of iniquity. Thou shalt destroy them that speak leasing. The Lord will hate the bloody and deceitful man. But as for me, I will come into thy house in the multitude of thy mercy, and in thy fear will I worship toward thy holy temple. Lead me, O Lord, in thy righteousness because of mine enemies. Make the way straight before my face, for there is no faithfulness in their mouth. Their inward part is very wickedness. Their throat is an open sepulcher, which is a grave. They flatter with their tongue. Destroy them, O God. Let them fall by their own counsel. Cast them out in the multitude of their transgressions, for they have rebelled against thee. But let all those that put their trust in thee rejoice. Let them ever shout for joy, because thou defendest them. Let them also that love thy name be joyful in thee. For thou, Lord, will bless the righteous. With favor will thou compass him as with a shield. With favor will thou compass him as with a shield. Let the church say amen. 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 You may be seated. I was thinking this morning, I had thought I had my mind clear on what God wanted me to say on this day. But when I looked a little deeper into my spirit, God was rewriting what he had given me. 
So many times when the minister gets up to preach, God has spoken to the minister the direction he wants the minister to go. All right. Not every word is clear. Not every paragraph is sure. But God will point you in the right direction. Amen. He'll do it to your life. He will tell you, he'll point you in the right direction. Sometimes he won't give you very detailed instruction, but he'll let you know that you're going in the right direction. All right. I wish I had some All right. help up in here. Right. One of the things that we learn when we take on this name of the favor of God, you ought to look at somebody and say, you have the favor of God. How do I know that? Amen. How do I know that? How do I know it, Brother Burks? I know it because after all the things we've been through. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, you. Amen. Some of you all have been through anything. <laughs> I'm waiting on you. I'm waiting on you because I know you're going to shout about it after a while. Amen. <laughs> Amen. After all the things that we've been through, God has still made a way for us. Am I right about it? He made a way not because I made every right decision. Not because I have had pure and holy thoughts all my life. But God, who grants favor because he's the one that is able to bless us, we even in the midst of mess. Lord Jesus, how mercy. Some of you all don't know what it means to be playing outside in the mud. After your mama has all dressed you up, got you all cleaned up. Ready to go somewhere. And say, now, I got this one clean and everything good. Now, let me work on this child over here. And while you turn, mama turn ahead, run out the house, get down in the biggest mud hole we can find. When we come back in the house, we got everything all tore up, messed up, muddy. And she's standing there looking at you, oh, God, why, what? Now, that's the way we appear before God. Jesus gave his life as a substitute yeah. for us. Yeah. And his blood was so pure, yeah. it is able to wipe your record yeah. off the books. Yeah. All that you have to do is come to him you, and confess yeah. Yeah. and say, God, I'm guilty. Yeah. You can't get, you can't get, uh, you can't be healed from your sinfulness unless you confess. You can't go to God and tell him, this is all I've done. You got the other hand behind your back and your paw is dirty. Your mama asks you, say, well, let me see your hand. You have a one hand. I've done that. Tell me, I know you did. It's a shame when people know your life. You know what I mean? You, 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 you go to God and you say, my mama would say, all right, now, did you wash your hands for coming to the table? Yes, ma'am. She said, all right, let me see. And then you, you hold out your hand. She said, all right, now, let me see the back of it. And turn it over. Oh, Lord. All I did was run a little water, do like that, and wipe the rest of it on my clothes. I want to hurt me. We can't, you can't get forgiveness from God like that. But when you have a promise of God, he said, I will bless you. Now let's look at, take a look at this. It said, he's asking God to destroy the tenth verse. Destroy them, O God. Let them fall by their own counsel. In other words, the decisions that they've made that were not Sought by you. You didn't, they didn't ask you, God help me to choose this and help me to walk 
in a way that pleases you. And they didn't, their own counsel, their own, they got friends with jacked up lives who giving them advice and they're taking the advice of their jacked up friends. Yes. And that's their own, that's their own counsel. Yeah. All right. You know, and then all of a sudden now he said, let, he said, uh, destroy them, let them fall by their own counsel. Cast them out in the multitude of their transgressions. Yes. In other words, a transgression is when you have known what out of bounds is right. and you stepped out of bounds anyway. Right. Sometimes you step on the line, yeah. but on the line is still out of bounds. Out of bounds. Right. Then Amen. some, not only knowing where the line is, didn't step on the line or a little bit past the line, some just took off running way past the line uh -huh. and didn't care. See, he said, he said, they have rebelled against you. Uh -huh. There are people that used to have respect for God, uh -huh. but through the advice of their friends. Uh -huh. And let me tell you something. You can live a life on earth yeah. and you can be wrong. And God can still bless you. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. But one day you're going to die. Yes, and then you're going to have to stand before God. Yes, sir. And you cannot hire a law that's good enough to argue with God. You're going to have to stand before Him. I don't care who you are. Whether you got two left shoes or two right ones and say, well, you're supposed to have a left hand and a right hand. No, I got two left hands. Right. But you're going to have, it might work with men, but when you stand before God, you're going to have to tell him the whole truth, nothing but the truth. He's the one that's going to be able to say to you, blessed are ye that come to me, or cursed are you. Yeah. You're either blessed or cursed. Blessed or cursed. All right. Now, then it says, but let all those that put their trust in thee rejoice. Yeah. Now, you're going to have to trust somebody. Yeah. Right. You're going to have to trust somebody. And sometimes men will have great, great advice, but always see what God says about it. Amen. You have to open this Bible for it to help you. Amen. I say it again. Amen. You have to Amen. open this Bible before it can help you. It didn't say just read it. It said study. Be studious. That means open the Bible. Read it and then study what it means. Let them ever shout for joy. That's why sometimes when we come to church we don't have a whole lot of joy. We haven't spent any time with God. Gave the whole week to the devil. Coming to church feeling so guilty. Right. I know what it's like. Uh -huh. My daddy was a pastor. Yes, sir. I know. Ain't uh -huh. no even telling me. Yes. I know. I already got the inside story. Uh -huh. I sat on the same pew with a few I see back here. Uh -huh. Amen. Right. I see. I sat on the same pew and knew exactly what Saturday and Friday meant. Yes, sir. Right. Yes, Come to church and the preacher would preach. And I would say, he's preaching about me. Uh -huh. Why he got to preach about me every Sunday? Uh -huh. Lord Jesus. But he wasn't with me when I was out there. He wasn't with me. But see, God's word will find you. You'll resent it until you humble yourself before yeah. God. Amen. Then it says, let them love the name and be joyful in thee. Do you love the name Jesus? Or is that the only name that comes out of your mouth when you step your toe or, you know, hurt yourself? All that say, Jesus. You know, something like that. Or something like that. You have to love that name. Love the Lord. Then say, like it, love it. For thou, Lord, will bless the righteous. Now, let me show you who the righteous are. The righteous are those that have been granted, granted.
did not work for, but granted All right. immunity. Yeah. Uh -huh. They have been given impugned. I M P U G N E D. Impugned yeah. righteousness. Yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. The kind that you cannot work for, right. that you did not earn or deserve, but God gave it to you. Mm. Oh my Lord. Right. Right. That's what makes it so wonderful, so beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. That's why when you show up at the house of God and you find out that the Lord Jesus said, I loved you from the beginning. Yeah. I loved you on your wrong day. Yeah. I loved you on your uh, unrighteous day. Yeah. Yeah. But he said, because of my son Jesus, right. Right. he said, I have fixed it so that his death, burial, and resurrection the blood that was shed covered all your sins, covered all of your faults, covered every little mess that you made, every little secret that you kept. God knew about it and blessed you in spite of yourself. I wish I had somebody. No way in the world somebody can tell me that I am not blessed. Yeah. Oh, you can't tell me. I, I don't care who you are. You can't make me feel bad. Yeah. Hey, you, you, you're good. But you're not that good. As long as I read the scripture, the holy word of God, and he tells me that I have righteousness. Woo! Yeah. Who am I going to believe? You or God? Liar, liar, pants on fire. <laughs> That's all I got to say. Ain't nobody mad but the devil. Amen. Because I'm going to believe God. Amen. And he said he has given impugned righteousness. Right. So when he looks at you, yes, you. Yes, yes. Uh -huh. He looks at you and sees that you are covered by the blood of the Lamb, Jesus Christ. That's what he sees. You are covered by the blood of the Lamb. And therefore, you have been granted the righteousness of the blood. Good God, my friend. Somebody just came and told you that somebody just put a hundred thousand dollars in your checking account, uh -huh. in your bank account. They gave you a card, you know, with plastic, and they told you, "Say, there's a hundred thousand dollars on this, honey." <laughs> and you would sit there and just go, "Oh well." Man, <laughs> I don't believe a word. I don't believe a word. Yeah. Oh, that would be folks knocking the. That means people shouting, so be knocking children down. <laughs> Lord, we have been granted the righteousness of God. For thou, Lord, will bless the righteous. For thou, Lord, will bless the righteous. For thou, Lord, will bless the righteous. Bless the righteous. With favor. Woo! Hallelujah! With favor will you compass, I mean, surround. That means surround. To compass means to go around. Yes. You will surround him as with a shield. Favor. Oh, when God is on your side, when God is on your side, you don't have to worry about what the devil's going to do. You don't have to worry about it. Because God will surround you. Oh yes, oh yes. You wonder how in the 